United States-based lecturer with sources inside the Asso Rock Villa, Professor Farouk Berugi, has again come up with claims of the goings on in the Nigeria seat of power, particularly as it pertains to the recently appointed Chief of Staff to President Muhammad Buhari, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, who was described as an outsider on the inside. Farouk Berugi made the latest revelations in an opinion article published on his personal website on Saturday. The Kwara state-born academic who had alleged that Gambari's linguistic handicap in the Hausa language would ensure that he isn't sufficiently close to Buhari has now claimed that the new chief of staff doesn't have direct access to his boss but it's only the public face of the office with some legroom to do the most obvious official requirements of his job. He explained that evidence of this has emerged as his attention was drawn to a National Daily's exclusive report published this week, which detailed the behind the scenes maneuvers that resulted in the firing, firing of the managing director of the transmission company of Nigeria by the name of Usman Go Mohammed. He pointed out that it, a telling paragraph in that story reads the special assistant to the president, president secretariat, Sabiu Yusuf, the same day wrote a letter referenced press slash 651 slash COS slash 3 slash 750 addressed to the chief of staff, Professor Gambari, conveying Buhari's approval of his earlier memo. The professor then went on to posit that unlike Abakari, who had a direct access to Buhari and whom Buhari said all ministers should meet if they wanted anything from him, Gambari has an, has an intermediary between Gambari has an intermediary between him and Buhari, and it isn't just any intermediary. The intermediary is Buhari's blood relative. Berugi then asserted that the real chief of staff to Buhari is Sabi Tunde Yusuf, of course, acting on Mama Daura's behalf, and referred to his November 23, 2019 column, where he wrote the following about Sabi Yusuf. Sabi Tunde Yusuf is Buhari's private secretary. Don't be deceived by the Tunde in his name. It's just a nickname, probably inspired by Tunde Idiagbon, Buhari's deputy when he was a military dictator. Sabiu is the son of Mama Daura's full biological sister by the name of Ajia Halima, more popularly known as Aja Madam in Daura, who died last year. As you should know by now, Mama Daura's sister is Buhari's niece since their father, Daura, died. Daura, Daura is Buhari's much older half-brother. Okay? Sabi, who is in his 30s, is one of the most powerful people in Nigeria today. He determines who sees and who doesn't see Buhari. Only Mama Daura and Abakari can overrule him. By several accounts, he is now a multi-billion billionaire, although he had no former work experience before Buhari became president. He used to sell phone recharge cards in Daura until 2015. Writing on how Yusuf was purportedly made the actual chief of staff by the owner of the regime, the columnist wrote, What has happened after Abakari's death is that Mama Daura Buhari's emotional and intellectual prop, who actually owns this regime, has chosen to not share substantive power with any non-blood relative again. He got bound by Abakari, whom he introduced to Buhari many years ago. He also didn't trust Baba Ghana Kingibe, a member of the Kaba, to succeed Abakari because of Kingibe's well-earned notoriety for treasury. Isa Funtai, another member of the Kaba, publicly said the office of the chief of staff of the president was beneath him. I doubt that Mama Daura would have supported Funtai's aspiration even if he desired the, the position because Funtai's linguistic and geocultural affinities with Buhari might cause him to get as close to Buhari as Abakari was. Hmm. So what we now have now is that uh, the re according to this uh, Berugi, 
the real chief of staff is this a tunde uh what is this okay tunde what okay tunde mohammed okay not really tunde, okay it's tunde that's what they they call him i think i've really heard about the story before when they were talking about a the personal the personal aid or whatever pa to worry then they try to give us the the background of that same that guy tunde yusuf yeah Sabi Tunde Yusuf and that Tunde is a nickname because they believe that when the boy was small they he admired or he loved a Tunde Idiagbo who was a Buhari deputy then when he was a uh head of state in eighty three to eighty five or so. So now what they are telling us, you know, you've heard the background, you've heard all of those things, you know. The most important thing, if they can do the needful, all of this, whether he brings a, his mother, he brings his father, he brings his whatever daughter, the most important thing, let them do the needful. It is their time. Let them continue. The nepotism is, 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 is something else. So let them do the needful. Let them work for Nigeria. Let them make Nigeria great. If there's anything they can really offer, if at all. So we know that a, a lot of uh, things... A lot of things are shrouded in secrecy. So let them continue with all of those things that they are doing. The most important thing, let there be good governance. All of this uh, back and forth, whatever. Let them do it. It is their time. So we will not be too surprised with all these things that we are hearing. Let them get the job done. The, the important thing now is that, or what is really pertinent, everybody has known the capacity and the competence of the president. So it's not... It's not going to be ruled out. Everybody knows how uh, how capable the president is. Whether he's capable or whether he's not capable, you all know. So that is why all of these uh, uh, shenanigans try to hide, you know. Maybe they are doing hide and seek game for themselves. So we all know what has been happening. So let's hear what the Nigerians are saying concerning this uh, Berugi's uh, submission. So I'm saying, since we can't assess our president, where is our vice president? On the other hand, I would like our... Uh, post conscious student, political science student, to brief me better on our constitution. I think we are made to understand that in a democratic government, if both the president and his vice are indisposed, then the Senate president is the one to preside over the affairs pending an election. These are elected representatives of the people. How, ca- how come about this hand picked cabas running the affairs uh, of Nigeria? What a shame! Okay, someone says this is the real fact, and adding to it, there is no buari anywhere. Let no one deceive you. If that is the case, there is no buari. They are hiding this fact from us again. MN, MNK. Okay, Namdekano is right. The they are closing the gap because there's nothing like buari. Okay, another social media jargons. You told us this man uncover over a hundred memos that were not approved by B. A. 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 Buari and has been asked not to act on them by the president that is a lawyer friend to the president. Which do we believe? So Gambari, with all he has achieved, we allow himself to be used for his, this drama. Believe whatever you want to. Okay. <laughs> this person must be joking. So I say, okay. Mm, don't mind him. Another person says, hmm, cow talking. All we want is good governance. Exactly just like I said. Please write that. Write what will enhance the well-being of Nigeria. Only small minds discuss people. People being fluent in English is not our problem. Okay, so have you gotten good governance from this Buari? How can you be dreaming of good governance without leadership? You reap what you sow. You plan for good results and success, and you need knowledge and education to achieve such. But of course. You people prefer Amajiri, I can understand. Someone say you are talking, you are taking totally out of point, or you are talking totally out of point. You know, this one is referring to somebody who say it has a, you know, you should write on what we enhance the country. Who is going to do that? Even if you tell a lot of people, a lot of uh, technocrats, if uh, uh, an intelligence people. So you want to tell me that somebody who has a Oshibaju as a, as a, as a somebody who is helping or is as a vice president will say, oh, I don't have a good person. But if you advise somebody or if you tell somebody to do this, if the person does not take it, what do you have to do? Or you want to tell me that we don't have a, a intellectual people with people with good a, good experience. You think they, they are not a, in Nigeria? They are there. A lot of them have been giving advices and here and there. You see the economy they set up the other time. 
we, when we have a, a Rwani, a uh, big smart, and a Soludo. So you want to tell me that they don't have a good advice, they don't have a, what it takes to tell the government on what to do about the economy. Would they take it? That is the question. Would they take it? Why somebody was even suggesting the other time that a, a Queen Jewella should be brought back? Even if he, she comes back, which I, I doubt, she can't even want to, she wouldn't want to come. You think they would, they would take her advice, or even the Minister of Finance that we have, you think she does not have a, what it takes to make things work well in this economy. If, if, only, and if only they would take her advice, that is when things will work. So we have all those people in place. If they don't take your advice, or if they don't recognize you, nothing will be done, and we will still be in the same spot, or on the same spot. Oga, Oga was your problem. So being, inf be, being fluent in English is not the problem. But being fluent in Aousa is the problem or good governance. Okay. If he has no access to the president as his chief of staff, what then is he doing in the villa? Now, question I ask you. Someone say, covering the staged managed government of APC. That is what he's doing. This person is replying, at, uh, replying to that question. Thank God President Buhari has relatives. May Almighty God continue to preserve, protect our president. Do you want him to know the secrets in that place? That going closer to Buari, that do you, if they want a Gambari to know the secrets, how they know what they cover? If there's anything they are covering, definitely it will, it will come to limelight, unless they are not covering anything. But in as much they have something they are covering, and it's to the detriment of the masses, it will, no matter what, in no time, it will. It will be exposed. Okay, someone say, hmm, what goes up must one day come down. Always that ties. Keep looking at the movie. Hmm. Someone say, we only have a two Buari, the dark and the light one. You guys think you are educated and have true God. You see yourself, you are ruling and Tony as a Akara in faith. Okay. Who gave the appointment? Why then rejecting the appointee? Which Buari are they talking about? Is it the first Buari, second Buari, or third Buari? Please be specific. So, guys, uh, that is what uh, we are getting to know according to this uh, Perugu that the Tunde Sabu is the is the chief of staff. The other man does not have uh, access to him. Let's have an opinion in the comment section.